the little plates that you see positioned on the inner sill and on the the tunnel in the center of the car are the end plates for the lateral supports that i'm going to weld in that go below the brackets that hold my seats i need to put counter plates that will be welded in behind these plates these are what will be attached to the car and then these will actually be demountable you'll be able to unbolt them by those bolts and uh, they will be actually removable this is actually important for me because i'll paint the car with these supports in position but then i'll be able to take them out and drill them and put in inserts in the exact places i need for the seats when i order them I'll do that away from the car so I won't uh, destroy any of the paintwork that I will have done. I'm taking measurements for each individual plate that I'm going to have to make. They're all going to be different because there's different factors affecting each one. That one is really close to the original cross member in the car. So the end plates are as near to the back of that plate as possible. The guidance uh, from the, the regulations um, doesn't actually give dimensions for the counter plates. They just by logic have to be bigger than the 40 square centimeter end plates. I transferred my dimensions onto my sheet of three mil thick steel and I'm cutting them out. These plates could have actually been two millimeter thick according to the regulations, but um, I might as well continue working from the one sheet. This design is allowing me to put a bit of strength uh, into the shell low down and I'm happy to maximize that rather than work to the minimum. I'm continuing up the lines of the side of the end plates so that I'll be able to see where they need to go forward and back uh, so that then when I put this counter plate on I just judge um, where I want it up off the floor with enough space to weld underneath it. Um, so as you see now, it's just a matter of, I, I fixed it to the I, the magnet. So that's holding it exactly as it was in relation to the floor. As um, So that's giving me the correct height up from the floor for the end plate. So I'm just, I can move it back and get it in between those two lines. And that should get me the correct centers for the holes. So I'll mark them on now with my marker and then I'll go and drill them so again start off with the small size drill bit uh, for pilot holes with yet another 16 holes to do the bench drill is really gonna save me some time they're M8 bolts that I have to use and uh, drilling that at eight millimeters. Depending on how accurately I manage to do my markings, I could go up to 8.5 if I need a little bit of wiggle room. Now, the moment of truth. I haven't actually got that lined up very well. Don't need the magnet now. Okay, that one's in, no, the first one's the easy one, and second one, so that's great, um, I don't need to expand those out, that's fitting quite well, so the method is working. Now, this one, uh, I want to incorporate the original hole for the, the seat belt. So I'm going to extend this plate up, because otherwise it, the edge of that was just way too close uh, to it. You mustn't have your eye bolts. I may use these bolt holes for the harnesses. Um, the the harness cannot be attached to the seat supports, but this is going in the counter plate, so I it's actually going through to the original attachment. So I, my interpretation anyway is that this is not on the supports. But it's it's on the on the reinforced part of the car, and its original reinforcing is still there. And you're allowed to use the original anchor points, so um, I hope I'm getting that right. So 
So because uh, this is larger than the area of the end plate, I'm using a little bit of uh, paper to to get um, a template for where the eye bolt uh, will go or if I'm using the original seat belts. Because that may occur, there might be different things. Like these cars actually rallied without competition seats with just the Recaros in them back in the day. So I'm glad that these are going to be removable and that's why I've left the original floor mountings. I will be able to take the competition seats out if I want to and put ordinary Recaro road seats in which uh, might be nice to show the car as it was in the original era at shows rather than competitive events. So I transferred those measurements onto my plate and I'm using an 11mm drill bit for the threads of an eye bolt to go through. Now, let's see if that's all worked out. End plating first. The important thing then is that there's enough space for the large, the wide base of the eyeball. So I have to screw it all the way in to make sure that's gone okay. And it has, so that's great. On with the remaining six plates. I got a bit of a system going, mostly doing them in pairs, so I didn't get lost in focus on what the dimensions and the requirements for each one were exactly but that did help me to get through them a little bit quicker a few less drill bit swaps a few of them now to fit in on the right hand side of the car which is the co-driver side these are the ones that are all back behind that original cross member that one I made with a diagonal top because it's in quite an arrow position as I said they're all bespoke that one is made so that the cross member can be as close to the original as possible this one is very similar to the one on the other side just that again the position of the eye bolt is a little bit further forward in it this plate is moved a little bit further back to accommodate some taller co-drivers again making sure that eye bolt fits all the way in great this was the end of a day in the garage uh, so i decided i'd put some well through primer on the the faces of the plate that will be towards the inner sill and the tunnel just so corrosion doesn't build up there I'll be welding on the captive nuts next that's a bit of paint now for the inner sill and the tunnel sections the contact points I'll have to drill larger holes in this to accommodate the size of the nut and the weld around it so that's six seven and eight and that's one to five those are all the different plates uh, and dimensions the counter plates so I'm finished with my three mil plate and there's actually more of it left than I thought after doing the roll cage and all its various brackets now I've just taken out two regular bolts that I'm going to use while welding all the captive nuts onto these plates now that's the the large 11mm uh, drill bit so it's not from that set that you just saw me put away wasn't wasting my time just taking off the burrs on the um, on the, the side that the nut's going to go on. So screw that down. I will trim these with the grinder nice and tight so I don't get welder spit on the threads and then harm the nuts as I unwind these. Hopefully I'll avoid 
welding them in permanently by accident. So I have to keep it tidy. Out with the welder. I'm going for a relatively low wire speed because I don't want to put too much material in this area. Um, but I do need a fair bit of strength um, for the, the three mil plate and the, the thickness of the nut. I need to keep this pretty tidy because otherwise I'll have to drill quite large holes in the inner sills and the tunnel, which I'd prefer not to. Now, these are very, very hot and I want to move on and do the next plate quickly. Luckily, I got two sets of grips in my set, so I will take the bolts out and just leave them in the grips. Working quite speedily because the temperature is coming through into the glove as I do this. Then I can put down the hot plate and then have a nice cool one. But the end of that bolt is still very, very hot. Put on the nut. And well, the next one. Tidied them a little bit if they strayed a bit too far out from the center. And then cleaned it all up. Losing a bit of that well through primer, I'll I'll have to do that again. Another coat. But I was thinking about the tiny bit of metal underneath the nut that I wanted to do it when I did it the, the first night. I was doing that a bit late in the day, maybe that was a bit extreme. But anyway, this is just before lunchtime the next day, so I'll take a break while the um the fumes dissipate. Now, I'm going to have to make a suitable center for my hole saw because the drill bit that was originally down the middle of this was only about 6 mil, and the holes I have on the floor are 8 so I wouldn't get a very good center and uh, would probably wander around a lot. So perhaps don't try this at home but I've got to make something uh, that will work for me. I put a large nut on it and that helped to center the original hole saw and then it's sandwiched between two nuts that tighten on the threads. Use my little socket to tighten that all the way down but that won't be enough to tighten it for when it's actually drilling. What I'm doing here now is I'm, I'm holding it and because there is still a bit of play in it, I am going to kind of center it by eye as I look down from above. Get it as good as possible using the spanner tightening it now. Unfortunately, I only had a nylock nut spare, so a bit of smoke from this should we say flame I just did it on two sides and that will secure it be able to cut it off and use the hole saw again with the original set with the drill bit through it for, for making a hole when you're doing this straight into a flat piece of metal okay moment of truth I'm going to try it on the floor this could be a bit of an adventure as I said don't take responsibility for anyone else who tries to make one of these themselves hold on tight little bit little bit rough but it's doing it I started on this section because the uh, there was already a couple of holes from where I took out some spot wells this was a nice neat one and that's uh, it is wandering a little bit it's probably a tiny bit bigger than I'd wanted but um, it's pretty tight to the the wells around the nut Now you can see how the, the counter plate fits in there.
it actually improved um, a few of the little discs that were cut out wedged down inside it and uh, they actually helped to center the, um, the the threaded bar down the middle so it was actually getting better as I went along although I think I'm getting a bit tired now towards the end of the evening and the last one I did was a little bit rough breathe a sigh of relief anyway that's over with and that's the eight counter plates uh, in situ they're all going to have to be welded in and I'll probably do that with the actual cross members uh, attached so that I get the, 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 the overall platform between the two um, lateral supports or cross members will be dead level and the seat will sit perfectly comfortably with its side supports going up off longitudinal angle sections. I'm just finishing off with a bit of well through primer on the, the freshly cut sections. <laughs> 